Hi, everyone. Welcome to second semester. I hope that you had a nice four day weekend and are rested and rejuvenated and ready to start second semester off strong. So uh, this is a fresh start for everybody. Clean slate. All of your grades are reset back to zeros, right? So whatever happened first semester um, is first semester and we're going to let that be. If you did well, awesome. Keep up the habits that you had. If you didn't do as well as you had hoped, uh, then let's get some new habits going so that you can be successful this semester and still earn half of your credit for English. Um, so everyone, the grade book is completely empty right now. Um, so if you do today's assignments, you will be starting off at um, 100%. I'm sorry, my dog is playing with a squeaky toy in the background, so I'm going to pause for a second and try to get it from him so he's not squeaking the whole video. Okay, hopefully he won't keep doing that. Um, okay, so um, what we're going to do is just kind of go over some general information and talk about Canvas and our syllabus just as a reminder. We've also got a few new students, um, and then we'll get into our agenda for today. So um, first things first, let's do this. We'll go through this slideshow quickly. Okay, so second semester, English one. I am Miss Bruin. I know that I know most of you, uh, but we do, like I said, have a few new students, both uh, both virtually and in person. So hi, I'm Miss Bruin. Um, I'm originally from Nebraska. Um, I lived there until 2011. Um, I have taught in Belton for five years. This is my fifth year. And I coach JV Cheer, and I also sponsor SAD, which is, or co-sponsor SAD, which is Students Against Destructive Decisions. Um, I have two kids, Jack and Willa. Here we all are at the pumpkin patch this um, past uh, fall when it was nice out and we could go be outside. Um, I love music. Um, I love going to concerts. I can't wait for concerts to hopefully come back once this is all over. Sports, um, Chiefs, Royals, Nebraska football, all that good stuff. Um, the Office is my absolute favorite show. I started embroidering over the summer and that's really like my favorite hobby now. Um, and I like to do crossword puzzles. And of course, I like to read. I'm an English teacher, so that is usually a given. So I'm looking forward to continuing to work with those of you that I had last semester and getting to know those of you who are new. So um, for in-person students, um, I'm just going to go through these because we do have some in-person students who are quarantined and are going to be watching this um, at the beginning of the semester. So uh, when you're in class, in person, remove hats and hoods. That's a Belton School District expectation. Uh, no earbuds unless given permission. That includes like AirPods and stuff like that. I like to give you guys time to work and let you listen to music while you work, but please just have, you know, respect to take them out when I'm talking. Um, put your phones away when the bell rings. Um, there's no passes the first or last 10 minutes of class or if I'm giving instructions. So you just need to wait if you need to go to the bathroom. Um, as well as there are three passes per quarter for the bathroom and um, in-person students will find a page in your planner to put those on, um, but make sure that you use those um, wisely because once they're gone, then they're gone. Um, sit in your assigned seat. This is really important for um, COVID year. Um, it says on here, the floor is not your assigned seat because in years past, I had students that really liked to like lay on the floor. But um, with COVID, you know, um, I have the seats as spaced out as I possibly can. So it's really important that you sit in your assigned seat for um, contact tracing and just for social distancing. Um, and then your MacBooks should be charged or you should have your charger with you. I do have um, some extension cords that we can use if you need them. So for COVID, um, again, this is for in-person students, but I know some of them are quarantined right now, so I want to go over it. Uh, your mask needs to be up over your nose all the time, um, except for if you're eating or drinking. Um, and really, you shouldn't be eating or drinking unless it's breakfast or lunchtime. So if you are in the middle of the day finding yourself hungry and you 
want to snack. That's really not going to work with COVID, especially with how many people we now have in person. We have classes where every single seat is taken. So we really need everybody to have their masks up except for at lunchtime. So if you aren't getting breakfast, start getting breakfast. You need to eat only at your approved times and water is okay, but just put the mask back on as soon as you take your drink. Use hand sanitizer when you enter and leave the room. We're still wiping down tables before you leave. Don't come to school if you don't feel well, okay? Even if you're like, ah, oh, it's probably a cold, it's better to wait a day than um, to end up having to, um, you know, be responsible for a bunch of people having to quarantine. Um, social distance as much as possible. Six feet is best. Three to six feet is our goal. So um, again, where your tables are in the room, sit at your spot so that we can maintain as much distance as possible. And wash your hands frequently for 20 seconds. Okay, so class structure, this applies to everybody, virtual and in person. So every day I post a daily announcement and I have a list of activities and links for the day. My recommendation is always that you just go down the list, right? Do number one first, then number two, then number three, and so on. Um, there's some things where if you, you know, you want to do your journal later or something, that's fine. Um, you know, you can kind of work in the order that you want as long as it's not something like an introduction activity and then the activity, right? You want to make sure that you kind of follow the um, order that's in the announcement as much as possible in those circumstances. We do have some weekly assignments that you will um, be looking out for. So we are still doing Quill this semester, but we are also incorporating what are called MUG shots, and MUG stands for Mechanics, Usage, and Grammar. We're actually going to start on that next week, so you'll learn more about that um, next week, but we will also still be using Quill, which is an online um, grammar tool. We will also be doing article of the week. Uh, we will actually start that later this week. We'll do one all together because it is going to be um, very similar to what we did last semester, but just a little different. And then also, like I mentioned, we've got some new students as well. Um, and then, you know, each day we'll have different lessons that we'll do. Um, we will have a daily journal as well. Um, just the biggest thing with class structure is that um, if you're in person, I give you time to work and you need to make sure that you use it. If you're a virtual student, you know, in-person students are in class for 90 minutes a day. So you should really be working on class. I mean, probably an hour a day that for each day that we have class, um, you know, if not a little bit more. So make sure that you're committing enough time to class to get done what you need to get done. Um, don't just think, oh, I spent five minutes on English and that's good enough. Um, the in-person students are here for 90 minutes um, each time they have class. So that is what I am making my um, lesson plans for is for those 90 minutes. And you guys are supposed to be keeping up with what the in-person students are doing, okay? Um, all right, if you have questions on any of that, just shoot me an email. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. Sorry. Uh, virtual students, I will have a Zoom available every day. What I'm going to do this um, year or this semester, I think, is just sort of have it open and you can join anytime um, and ask questions or, you know, you can just tune in live to class if you want to. Um, similar to what like Miss Plock does for your freshman seminar. Okay, uh, written work standards, the same as last semester. You need to use correct capitalization and punctuation, and all assignments need to be written in complete sentences unless otherwise stated. Cheating, I'm not going to go and read through all of this, but there's lots of ways that people were caught cheating last semester. If you're caught cheating, I send an email home. You get a zero on the assignment as well as the person that um, you cheated with, right? So if, it, if you copied from a friend, you both get zeros. So let's say that you did an assignment and your friend was like, please let me borrow your assignment. I just want to see, like, I just want to look and see what you did. And then they turn in your assignment. Well, now you're getting a zero for the assignment that you did and that person is getting a zero. So if, you know, if that happens, just tell them no, um, because it's not worth it. Um, and then if it happens again, then you get an office referral. Grades. Late work is accepted until the end of um, the quarter. This year, I'm pretty much accepting it any time just because COVID times are just so weird and everybody's, you know, 
people are getting quarantined and people are sick and what have you. But overall, just don't dig yourself into a hole you can't get out of. We are starting a brand new semester. You have the chance to do as well as you want to do. So just don't dig yourself into a deep hole. Turn in your work, even if it's not like all the way finished or it's not perfect, turn it in. Partial credit is better than a zero. There are so many people that failed last semester that if they had just turned in their partially done work, they would have passed. Um, again, new semester is a fresh start. Do not waste it. If you had bad habits, change them. If you had good habits, keep them. If you need help changing habits, let me know. Canvas reminders every day in class, you're going to click on the daily announcement on the home page. If you are absent, this is for in-person students. Uh, if you are absent for any reason, make sure you still check the daily announcement. You're still responsible for that work. You're still responsible for work while you're quarantined. So make sure that you're checking that announcement every day that we have class. Um, just a reminder on your grade book, a zero or a dash means that an assignment is missing. You can still turn those in or make them up. And then a T or a little paper icon means that it's waiting to be graded. And finally, if you see this little um, comment, little speech bubble next to your grade, that means that uh, you have been left a comment. Please click on those and read them. I spend a lot of time leaving you feedback, and um, I'm just hoping that I'm not wasting my time. I want to make sure that you are looking at those comments, um, and that will help improve your performance throughout the year. All right. Um, the next section is just in-person review stuff, uh, so I'm not going to go over it right now. Um, and then that is actually it for the review. So I'm going to go back to today's announcement and just very briefly show you Canvas. So here's our homepage. This is what you'll see when you log in. Your announcements, the three most recent announcements will be right up here so that you can just, as soon as you get onto our Canvas homepage, click on that announcement. Okay, um, I'm gonna show you the A day announcement, but B day students, it's the exact same. Okay, um, in the announcement, you'll have the objective for the day. You'll have video instructions linked. Please watch those. Um, and then it'll go through everything. This should be like your checklist for the day, right? Okay, I need to complete my journal. Check when I get that done. I need to do this slides assignment. Check it off when it's done. I need to do these guided notes. Check it off when it's done. This is your daily checklist um, so that you know what you need to do and you can get it done. Do you guys see my dog in the background? like freaking out on the stairs. Okay, um, so this is your checklist. So make sure you're going through every day and checking it, okay? Modules is the other part of um, Canvas that you should be aware of. This is where everything is organized. So if you need to look for something, um, let's say you're like, oh, I know I need to do the questions over the pedestrian, but I don't remember what day they were assigned. You can go to modules and everything will be assigned um, and organized here. So like the pedestrian's the first story we're going to read and it's all organized right there and so on. Same thing with like, here's all the January journals and so on, okay? Um, you can always send me a Canvas inbox message if you want to or if you need to. Um, also right here, video links. This is a link that will take you to a YouTube playlist that has all of my daily videos if you should need them again. Um, and then I'm just going to click right here on syllabus briefly. The syllabus really hasn't changed since last semester um, other than just one change in um, a reading that we're going to do. Um, we switched our novel. Um, but other than that, everything is the same. Just make sure that you look this over. If you have any questions on it, you can um, certainly email me and let me know. All right, so what we're doing today, and this video is a little bit longer than our normal videos will be just because it is the first day. Um, normally I try to keep the videos like under 10 minutes, so I apologize, I know this one's a little bit longer. So the first thing you're going to do today is to complete your journal. Every day, pretty much, we have a journal. And the only requirement is that you write three sentences and that you use correct capitalization and punctuation. So your journal for today is what is your goal for this semester? What action steps do you plan to take to achieve this goal? And what are you looking forward to this semester? So um, action steps means like, okay, if your goal is to get C's or better, what are you going to do to make sure that happens? Are you going to work for 60 minutes a day in English? Are you going to um, attend Zooms three times a week? Like, what are you going to do in order to achieve that goal? Okay. 
So um, once you submit that journal, then you can move on to our next assignment, which is an introduction um, assignment. Again, we have several new students that are new to Belton. We have students who have moved to in-person. We have students who have moved to virtual. So this is just a way for you all to introduce yourselves and get to know each other. There are separate video instructions here. So that's something I like to do. I always have on an assignment, I will have specific instructions linked there so that anytime you're wondering how to do the assignment, the instructions are right there. So I'm not gonna go over the instructions because they are linked here and you can go over them. And then last but not least, we have um, some notes to take today and I have linked for you the guided notes sheet and a video of me going over the notes. So you need to, for today, complete your journal complete your introduction slides, and watch the dystopian um, fiction guided notes um, video and take notes on the document, okay? If you have questions, let me know. You can also, um, I will link down here the Zoom, and you're welcome to Zoom in and just sort of sit in class, you know, live if you want to, don't have to, okay? All right, have a wonderful day, and let me know if you have questions.